Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be cupping plants. I haven't done a video on plants or videos including plants or anything like that in a while but I wanted to include this because it is a questionable topic. Why do people put, why do I put this, not people? Why do I put them in little cups like this? People are like, oh it looks bad, etc, blah blah blah. I don't care personally the way it looks, it's on our show tanks. These are just so I can easily transport them out in and out of the tanks if I want to move them without having this, this, this like I can't speak, um, disrupt the roots from growing. Anyway, I'm gonna be cupping this plant today and putting it in here so I can place it into my 10 gallon tank. Now, um, I'm gonna grab a couple of rocks. It's a lot easier if I just use my hands, you know? You need a little bit of a base so the roots can go into once they start growing. Like so. And what we're going to be doing is grabbing our the bottom piece of this. Actually just grab a little bit of rocks and place it around the stem. I'm not pouring it in there because I forgot I still had a little bit of water left in there. So I'm not going to be doing that. Be a lot more needed if I were just to use the tweezers but that would take me a ridiculously long amount of time again so the whole reason why I put them in pots you know or I put them in little containers is just for basically ease of use ease of moving it and the fact that every time I move a plant or anything like that they get disrupted because of them I take out I pull out from the roots and it harms them it could harm them in a way sometimes like if you pull it out to you don't pull it out the correct way you can actually end up um, breaking the root and the plant can end up dying. Which we don't want that now, do we? It would have been a lot easier if I just removed all the water and then just poured it in there, but... You know me, I don't like easy. Anyway, that's basically how the plant is going to be. I got this plant from Petco. I went to pick up some... What did I want to go pick up? I don't remember what I went there for. Oh, I went to go look if they had any um, fancy goldfish. I do have a couple of really nice looking goldfish over here. Uh, you guys can really see. But anyway, I'll get into that video later on. But the summer is coming. I'm in New York, so the weather is still being a little bipolar. But... Since the, um, the summer is coming, with spring, and uh, the tanks outside are going to be um, up and running again soon. Now, I need to figure out which tank I'm going to keep for fish, which tank I'm going to keep just for plants. Um, I don't know if you guys watched many of my last videos. Last, last summer, I actually had a tank just for plants and also had a tank with fish. Um, the tank with plants grew a ridiculous amount of algae because of the light and it being outside. So I do plan on getting... Um, some type of fish, I'm thinking about some of those, um, autos, I'm thinking about getting some autos to put out there because th that algae can grow really big, but I don't want any fish to harm my plant, my plants, per se. Anyway, let's dump this back into the aquarium before the leaves actually drop out. Take you guys with me. Actually, um, I'm gonna face the camera the other way. So if you look here, I actually have a bunch of Anubias. And here I have one large Anubias growing with some, some moss. This plant, I have no idea what it's called. I don't remember what it was, but it's beautiful. I love the patterns on it. Completely submerged. And now we're going to be dumping this guy in there. Um, this tank, this one's not doing too well. I don't know if he's going to make it, but it's not the whole point. Let me grab a little bit of water. Slide so it sinks nicely. We're going to be putting him up here. It worked out pretty good actually. <laughs> All that stuff is gonna be moving from the bottom. I just have a couple of bettas in here just to get the cycle going. The cycle going. Um, so you see some more Anubias over there in that corner. You're doing great. This, this one not, looks like it's not doing too well. Maybe it's not enough nutrients. I don't know. I just need to stock the fish up a little more. But I'm gonna be. I'm starting to set up my third row is gonna be going on here. I'm gonna have one, two, three, and then one more. One, two, three. 
that's gonna be it on this tank wise i have shrimp in that container that's why this container is still full of water i have a little bed in here that was given to me that's gonna be in this container for a little bit um just because i don't have more space and i'm not trying to set up another tank for him um and here i have an, an, another bed in here i should i probably add more water to it but and in here i actually just have plants actually that could technically just dump make sure that no, there's no fish in here right i don't have any fish in here for that my bed actually could go in here but i do plan on dismantling this aquarium i mean this little thing look at this anubius it's a nice little guy um I'm going to be taking apart this entire tank, so I don't plan on really keeping anything in here, per se. Um, I'm going to move him later, but I'm actually starting to take this apart so I can actually um, make the space so I can set up all the tanks. These tanks are not going to be for bettas. These bettas are going to be put in their own aquarium. They're not going to be in there like that. I don't want to put them in here because I have baby fish growing here all the time. Like I was saying before I got cut off, um... I'm not going to put bettas in here because these are where I breed fish. This is a breeded tank. As you can see, these are all babies. This is like a mutt, I guess. Like an endler kind of type, whatever. These guys are viewing great. Look at the color on this guy. I do have baby fish in here. Um, let me see if I can spot it. I have baby fish and shrimp in here. You guys can see him in the background. Let me zoom in a little bit. There he is. Anyway. Um, and down here I have Placos, these guys are ready to be released, these guys are growing. I already moved some of them, I switched them from which one side to the other. Um, I think I released one or two in this tank, I put a bunch of them in the 55 gallon aquarium I have. A bunch of quarries in here, look at that. There he is, there's one from the batch, over there. But yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, it's not really a crazy cool video. All these plants are going to be coming out, though. I've done. I have realized that I do not want to keep any plants in this system during the summer. During the summer, I'm getting rid of all these plants. These plants are going to be going into tank outside, depending on which one I want to use. Oh, I forgot to ask you guys. Maybe you guys can help me out here. I'm debating right now in between using um, using the 75 gallon bow front tank. For plants or should i use the 125 gallon long aquarium for plants one of them is going to be for fish one of them is going to be for plants i'm kind of wanting the 125 for fish so i can have a large large variety of fish but you guys should definitely let me know down in the comments below as you can see i use my cupping method everywhere these plants where did the plant go for these guys there he is anyway i have all my plants in cups easy to move out all these plants are going to be going back outside once um the weather permits Look at that guy. I even put that big, huge plant in a cup. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys liked the video. Definitely smash that like button if you did. Drop any questions you guys have down below. If you guys want to see anything particular, let me know in the, down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any of it. Um, so you guys can see further videos. And definitely hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any of the cool videos I'm posting.